Southern Seminary began with a commitment, and that commitment was to provide quality theological education of the greatest conviction to the widest number of evangelical ministers possible. Our task has been to serve the churches of the Southern Baptist Convention, and then to go beyond that, to serve the church, in order to make certain that ministers are trained, deeply grounded in the faith, once for all delivered to the saints, that they're equipped for the real tasks of ministry in the local church, and that they're ready to go into the world. That's what brought Southern Seminary into existence over 150 years ago. That's why we exist now. Seminaries in general are so important because as the seminaries go, so goes the church in the next generation. And so as Southern Seminary stays faithful, we will turn out faithful students who will go in and strengthen local churches and plant faithful churches. And so as the seminary goes, as Southern Seminary goes, so will go the churches it influences in the next few years. Southern Seminary has great commission roots that run deep. Did you know that the first professorship of missions at any seminary in North America was right here at Southern Seminary back in 1904? For over a century, we've been training men and women to go to the nations, to the hard places, to proclaim Christ where he has not yet been named, and to train pastors who have a great commission, heart, and passion to see the church of the Lord Jesus Christ impact their community and the world. When we first decided to follow God's call to get trained for ministry, to go to seminary, uh, we were looking for faithful schools across the U.S. And um, more than that, what concerned us deeply was how are we going to afford this? Uh, we knew that God would have to do something amazing because as international students, visa regulations would forbid us from working off campus during my course of study. And we decided to trust God and just follow Him. And very soon we found that Southern Seminary is not only one of the most theologically faithful, biblically faithful schools in the United States, but it is also one of the most financially affordable schools. And that's because of friends and partners of the seminary, faithful Christian brothers and sisters who give sacrificially in order to further the ministry of the gospel. When we invest in a young person who's been called into the ministry at Southern, Southern trains them in truth, grounds them in theology, and then sends them out to do the same thing with the local body of believers which empowers the men and women in that church to do the same thing in their families. And now their families become the gospel ministers. You know, you don't have to have a lot of money to give to the seminary. I think that's a common misconception. I think people think that only really wealthy people give, and that's not true. I'm not really wealthy, but I love sharing what God has given me with these students. What better place to spend your money them pouring into them so they can go out to the ends of the earth and pour into others who would never have an opportunity to hear Christ's name apart from one of them going. You know, the few dollars that we get to invest now, at the end of the day, at the end of the age, there will be people who get to walk on streets of gold because of the few dollars that we gave today. And the, there were people who will hear Christ proclaimed because we made a small investment here. From the very beginning, Southern Seminary has existed because there were friends who stood with us and stood behind us. Those who invested to make certain that the mission of Southern Seminary would be sustained and would be invigorated, that would be encouraged and built into a new generation. And now as we stand back over 150 years after Southern Seminary was founded, we understand that a long line of friends has made this institution possible. Friends who understood that they're not investing in an institution, they're investing in a mission. They're investing in students who will eventually teach gospel churches, plant new churches, take the gospel to the ends of the earth. That's the sense in which investing in Southern Seminary is an investment in eternity. Because you give, people will hear the gospel who otherwise would not hear it. Churches will be fed that otherwise would not be fed and churches will be planted that otherwise would never exist. We understand what we're asking. We're asking you to invest in one of the boldest and most glorious causes I could imagine. The cause of investing in the next generation of ministers and missionaries and church leaders who will make a difference in the world to come. So even as I thank you for your support, let me remind you, what we need now is what we needed in the beginning. Friends, I invite you to invest in Southern Seminary.